Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now this video is for people who want to use the Daisy Livonia underground bunker structures on uh, a different map. So let's say you want to use these bits. These are, these are bits of the underground bunker. Um, normally you would be spawning these in the Daisy editor mods on PC and putting together your own bunker structure. But if you want them to spawn loot naturally, just like um, uh, any other uh, structure would spawn loot in your server, so loot would spawn in and loot would spawn out. Unfortunately on Chernerus with the vanilla settings it it won't do that because these structures, the references for these structures aren't included in the files. So what I've done is I've knocked up some um, map group uh, additions that will allow you to have loot spawning in like this. Um, so remember this is just an example what you can see here I've just spawned these you would not you wouldn't probably spawn these at the airfield like that um, so 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 what I've done is in the description below this video you'll see a link to my github repository and in this there's it's called Daisy map group proto XML snippet to spawn loot in Livonia bunker structures there's a couple of screenshots that kind of give you that give you the idea and there's the readme and the readme is the bit that includes all of the meat of what we're doing here. So what you can do is you click on code, download zip, you'll get the photos and you'll get the readme. You can open up the readme in your favorite text editor and just slowly read through it. Because I've been I've tried quite hard to to include instructions for everything that happens. So again, this is for people you've already used the Daisy editor mod and you've got a bunker, a custom bunker structure that you've built, and it's going to be on Chernus or Deer Isle or something like that. And remember it has to be above ground as well. Um, stuff if it's below ground stuff just doesn't spawn in anyway um, and then what you're going to need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have exported um, a um, map group pos.xml as well um, and then this is the snippet that goes this snip, snippet here this is the one that goes in your map group proto so let me take a step backwards because if you if you understand what I'm talking about I've probably said enough and you'll be able to download the snippets read the readme and you'll be good to go for those of the people are still scratching their heads what I want you to imagine so imagine this is your server on Nitrado or wherever it is this is on my local PC um, but if we go into the missions folder you know you'll see daisyoffline.channerus or daisyoffline.enoch if you go into say for example um, let's go into Enoch first the way that the game knows what spawn to loot and where is kind of based around um, a couple of files. We have uh, we have the custom file. So this is the, your custom object spawner JSON. So this is the file that you make in Daisy Editor um, and you export it and you refer to that and that will tell the server, look, I want an extra house or I want an extra bunker thing here. Okay, and then you have your uh, map group pos and your map group proto the map group pos that sh tells the server let me get up here where all these objects are so for example in this case on that little bunker example i was doing the map group pos tells the server that there's a land underground storage ammo structure at this orient at this position these coordinates at this altitude at this angle so it tells it that that is where it is. And if you look through this file, it's quite interesting. There's all of them. It's not telling the server where to spawn the actual structure itself. It's just telling the server what structure it is and what it, or what its orientation is. Then you have the uh, map group proto. Now the map group proto is a really powerful file. And what that does is that refers back to the map group pos and it says, okay, so at every item, uh, every structure that's referred to in the map group pos as land underground storage bar barracks, this is the stuff that I want you to spawn in at it and where I want it to spawn. So like the coordinates of the individual items that will spawn in. So at London land underground storage barracks, it should be tier one military items. Normally the usage would be underground on Avonia, but I've commented that out. Um, and it should be containers and clothes and some weapons and then randomly it will spawn them in with a loot max of 20 at these at these points around the particular structure and this is the bit that's missing from the Chernerus version of this so when you go into the Chernerus map group proto 
there's no references for any of the land underground stuff so that's why you need to add it so what we go do for example is if we go into the mission folder for Chernerus what you need to do is you'll have already gone into Daisy editor and you would have created your custom object spawner and you would have referred to that in your CFG gameplay.json to make it spawn in you've probably gone into your server to check it's there it's always a good thing and then in Daisy editor you're going to do a where you do your map export sorry save export and you export it to a um, a object spawner you're going to um, you're going to also export it to a map group pos folder uh, file which is this one here and that will then give you a little file that will look something like this like that and they're the extra bits that you need to add to your map group pos so you put them at the top of your map group pos and you would save that and then what you need is my bit so that's where you need my readme and it's all of this here so all of this here bup, 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 right down to there you would copy that and you would open up your map group proto and then underneath where it says defaults so here you would then paste that in and as you can see I've already pasted it in and then you would save that re-upload it to your server or save it if it's already on the server restart the server and that means that your Cherner server your DRL server or whatever map you're doing apart from Livonia now knows that when it sees a map group pos reference for land underground storage barracks for example it knows that this is the stuff that it should spawn in and it will enable loot to spawn now things you may want to play around with are really the usage names and the values so um, the way that it, the tiers work in the bunker in Livonia is the deeper you go into it the higher tier loot there is but when you're making your structure with the different bits that make up the Livonia bunker it might not be quite as simple as that you might end up with say the um, I think it's land underground storage barracks 2 might be higher so it wouldn't make sense then to have higher loot there so watch out for that so you may want to play around with the tier values or get rid of them altogether depending on what you want to do the other thing you might want to do and I say this in the readme as well is you may want to consider adding some different values as well so for example um, here we go where have I put it Here we go. So what you might want to do is in Cherners, for example, uh, high level loot is also also has a usage name of unique. That's things like the M79 grenade launcher that spawns at the um, train crashes and the uh, convoy crashes as well, I think. And usage name each uh, equals contaminated area. So that's the stuff that spawns in the permanent tax. Uh, gas zones at Riffy and the other one that I can't remember where it is um, so you could play around with that and if you added those to the uh, different uh, usage names again you would end up with different loot but I think the important thing is to get the loot working get it spawning in and then check to see what spawns in and then decide how you want to go on from there because it could be you want your underground bunker to be really easy to access um, and therefore not really have that much high loot in or you want it to be really difficult to, to get into so you might may want it so that your players you know they had to work really hard to get into the bunker so let's reward them with some really high-end loot you know like um for masses or m4s or dragonovs or um, vsss and um, uh, fals lars that, that sort of thing okay so hopefully that hasn't been too confusing i know it's quite a complex subject this one but again if you just read through the readme i've tried to go step by step to explain how it works and why it works as well so if you found this video useful hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon